Ever since Army General William Jenkins Worth's name was attached to this great Texas hub known as Panther City, there are names that are synonymous with legends, heroes, and vision. Richardson, Moncrief, Clyburn, Bass, Kimball, Carter, and yes, Granger. That's Kay Granger, Texas born and raised with a heritage as deep as the city, state, and nation she represents. It was a simpler time for the Mullendore family as Norvell and Aline moved their young family to Fort Worth from Greenville, Texas. Kay's parents were inspirations to her as she grew up, learning the values of education from her mother, a school teacher, and from her father, a highway patrolman. The Mullendores were known for their commitment to their neighbors and to their city. Even as a baby, Kay was happy and content, and that infectious smile of Kay's would be her claim to fame throughout her life. Kay and her sister Mary Lynn would learn how to share and be compassionate in all their dealings with other people. As Kay made her way through local schools, Meadowbrook Elementary, Meadowbrook Intermediate, and finally Eastern Hills High School, her classmates came to know her as a leader, even at a young age. She had aspirations to further her commitments to her first love at that time, teaching. So it was off to Texas Wesleyan, where she received a Bachelor of Science, magna cum laude, and an honorary doctorate of humane letters. All the while, we started to get a good look at this future dynamic leader, which of course led her down the runway into the teaching profession. Kay began teaching at Richland High School in Northeast Tarrant County, where she gave direction in English, journalism, and yearbook to her classes. Her students remember her for her warmth and friendly attitude. Kay found another avenue she enjoyed and used her teaching talents to begin her own business in the insurance field. GNR Insurance, Kay's own company, was begun, and it gave her an insight into the world of representing small business and women and minority business concerns. Kay's adventures in politics began quite innocently enough when she was appointed to the Fort Worth Planning and Zoning Board. This occurred only after she had taken the leadership role of her neighborhood association on some concerns they had and made a presentation to the very same board she would soon be asked to serve. Talk about making an impression. Even today, Kay's ties to the past East Side heritage have not gone unnoticed. Many might say, and the rest is history. But not tonight, for you see, we're talking about Kay Granger. From the Planning and Zoning Board, Kay made a big leap to the Fort Worth City Council in 1989, where she served with many familiar faces until 1991. Friends and supporters got behind Kay as she made the decision to run for mayor of Fort Worth and follow good friend Bob Bolin. It was a vigorous campaign, and Kay worked her charm and abilities for the voters on the way to earning their respect as their leader. Kay was tenacious and sincere in continuing to make Fort Worth known throughout the world as an all-America city. Congratulations, Kay, on this well-deserved recognition uh, from your many, many friends here in North Texas. Uh, most of the people know bits and pieces about your life. I probably have had the privilege of knowing as many of those bits and pieces as most of us, uh, how you were a school teacher and learned to sit hour after hour to dot one I or to cross one T and to give an A when they needed it and to give an F when they didn't. Uh, also coming in and doing public service work on the Zoning Commission and later on as Chairman of the Zoning Commission. Uh, In-house jokes about uh, how you ran the Zoning Commission and then moved up to the City Council and then into the Mayor's seat when uh, early 1990s and then the many things that you've done that uh, we all recognize has your footprint on it. Uh, and all the things that you had a lot of long-term vision for the community as a whole, and yet you took care of the details of making sure that the people were with you along the way. Uh, I don't know anybody that's done it better, and you're just beginning. Uh, you and I can both remember very well when uh, we met the, the uh, Queen of England and over in, in uh, Dallas and had her come off the plane and 
how we confused him because I was going out that very day as mayor and she was coming in and both of us were introduced as mayor of Fort Worth and, and the, the queen's escort and husband said, uh, uh, how do you have two mayors? And <laughs> we, we weren't quite sure either. I was getting out of the way and she was coming on and our kids were there, several of the kids and, and my wife. And that, that was really a, a joyful day. And at the same time, it was really one that everybody had a lot of fun with. Thanks once again, Kay, for all the time that you've given us and all the time you're going to give us uh, for your travels overseas. As you all know, uh, you like those a lot better than I ever did, and you're certainly better at it. Uh, we just hope that you have a long life there and continue to represent this district in Fort Worth, Texas. Kay's reputation as a decisive and fair leader also became traits visitors to Cowtown knew all too well. It was expected that when leaders from the world came to Fort Worth and Tarrant County, they would get our very best from the top down. Her devotion to Fort Worth and its partnership with peoples from throughout the world gave Kay the upper hand in winning recognition to our region. She was everywhere. She was everything. She was, well, Kay. As mayor, Kay set a standard for the role as Fort Worth's chief ambassador. In fact, in 1993, the city was recognized as an All-America city due to her inspired programs. Kay began on another adventure in her life that would test her abilities to deal with new situations and challenges. Yes, as a congresswoman. And in 1996, she was elected to the United States Congress and sworn in office in January of 1997 as the first woman elected from the 12th District of Texas. During her first term in office in Washington, Kay served on the Budget and Oversight Committee and is remembered for her first day in Congress for not allowing grass to grow under her feet as she introduced legislation to require both the President and Congress to present certified balanced budgets. Not bad for her first day. Any description of Kay Granger's life needs to include some of the idiosyncrasies that only those of us who know her best understand. Two early examples when I worked for Kay describe those idiosyncrasies. First was when Kay Granger hired me. At the time, I was working for one of her colleagues, Congressman Lamar Smith from San Antonio. Despite the fact that I was sitting at my desk, being paid for and working on Lamar's behalf, Kay Granger walked into Lamar's office, asked nobody for permission, and began interviewing me as I sat at my desk. Needless to say, I was surprised, and I think Lamar would have been too, had he known that one of his employees was being interviewed by a future employer while the employee was sitting at his office working. A second example of Kay's idiosyncratic behavior occurred shortly after she hired me. She told me that I needed to set her office up. She didn't tell me at the time that that included setting up her apartment in Washington. As I prepared to decide what committee she would be on, I got a strange message. Meet the movers at the new apartment she would live in. I was even more surprised when the movers showed up with large amounts of furniture, all of which needed to be put together and no explanation of how to do that. I realized then that when you worked for Kay Granger part-time, Kay Granger had your life full-time. What these examples show is that with Kay Granger, her commitment is total. She is completely focused on the job at hand, even if that focus sometimes causes her to walk into somebody else's office to hire an employee or to ask someone to put their furniture together, not realizing what is necessary to accomplish that mission. But Kay, your determination and your focus has made you an incredible public servant. It's also made you a wonderful mother and a great friend. Fort Worth, Texas looks totally different today because of Kay Granger's incredible leadership. It was when she was the mayor, an all-American city. It's going to be an all-world city because of what Kay Granger, now that she's what we used to call a federal mayor, is doing in terms of a town lake. Her commitment to her country is total as well. Her leadership on the Department of Homeland Security Committee and her leadership on national security issues is absolutely incredible. And most of all, Kay Granger is a great lady. She's somebody I'm proud to call a friend. She's somebody that showed me love and affection and tremendous uh, sometimes uh, good, sometimes bad attention, and somebody that made me a lot better person than I, than I was before I started working for her. So Kay, thank you for everything you've done. This is your life. It's a wonderful life, and we're all better for it. Thanks a lot. While constituents applauded her efforts, we at home knew we had selected the very best to represent our interests. 
In Kay's second term in 1999, she was chosen to serve on the Powerful Appropriations Committee and three subcommittees, Homeland Security, Labor, Health, and Human Services, and Military Construction. Talk about leadership. Kay was about to show the nation what it was all about. Her travels took her far and wide and gave her numerous opportunities to meet some of this country's greatest spokesmen and inspirational leaders. And the work goes on. In 2004, Kay received the YMCA Congressional Award for her support of anti-gang programs and the National Association of Manufacturers Award for her endorsement of pro-growth and pro-worker platforms. Over the years, Kay has been recognized by hundreds of organizations for her leadership and human rights efforts. The accolades are many. Kay's strong advocacy for defense, health care, and educational issues set her apart as a leader to be reckoned with. Kay's efforts supporting programs closer to home, such as the Lockheed Martin Joint Strike Fighter and F-22 Raptor Fighter and Bell Helicopter Textron's V-22 Osprey program, are helping Fort Worth maintain its position as one of the country's best cities to raise your family. Uh, Kay, just wanted to say thank you for everything you've done for us here in this company and everything you've done for our employees here in this company. We're a defense contractor. We're proud of what we do. You've made us proud of what we do. You've been to see us. You've been to help us. You've given us guidance. You've given us counsel. Uh, the folks who work here love you. We love you. Thank you for everything you're doing. We're going to continue to grow, and we hope to be with you for a long time. Representing Texas to the world is a daunting task. Kay's leadership and devotion to our great state set her apart from many. Appreciation comes from all levels. Tonight we pay tribute to a leader who is making a tremendous difference in the lives of millions of Texans, not only in Tarrant County, but across this entire state. Kay Granger is a key member of Team Texas, and I'm proud she's representing us in Washington, D.C. For nearly a decade in Congress, Kay has helped lead the fight for lower taxes, fiscal responsibility, better schools, and a stronger national defense. And as someone who has run a small business, she knows firsthand how important it is for government to give employers the freedom to grow, prosper, and create jobs. Today in Texas and all across the United States, our economy is growing, our schools are improving, and more families are free to live the American dream because Kay Granger has stood with President Bush and work to build a brighter future for all of our people. Kay, tonight we honor you and the work you've done to make Texas a better state. We thank you for your leadership. We appreciate your love for the state. And we look forward to many more years of outstanding service to come. And speaking of Texas, Kay is never one to forget her roots, especially her home in Fort Worth. And oh, that infectious smile. Back home where their family is where Kay's most comfortable. That's because her life is centered around her children. They are her lifeblood. And they are Kay's biggest boosters. Mom, I can't begin to express how proud I am of you. I continuously tell people I can never be prouder of you than I am this day. And time and time again, you prove me wrong. You always take it up to the next level. You always ask for more. And frankly, you deliver because it's the right thing. Thank you for having the courage for doing that. Thank you for helping us out. Thank you for the River Project. Thank you for what you do for all the victims in Tarrant County. And thank you for what you do for children. I love you. I'm very proud of you. This is your life. This is your legacy. Thank you, Kay, for what you are to those that support you. A friend to our nation, to our state, to our city, and to our hearts. And Kay, we love that infectious smile. Walking down the street, pretty woman, the kind I like to 